I'm going to demonstrate setting up uh, uh, some websites on our Linux virtual network using VertNet. Uh, so to get started, we're going to, uh, on Windows, deploy a topology, topology number 7. So I'll use the script vn topology 07.command, run that, and follow the instructions, and that deploys the five nodes. And once they are deployed, I need to start them and set them up. If you've done this before, you can skip this part and go to the part where I set up the websites. It takes a few minutes. I'll start each node. And once I've started them, I'll then explain how the websites work while they're setting up. Start node 4. And now node 5. Once those nodes are all started, we need to run the command that deploys the node. So we're using topology 7, and for each node, the, the node number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that will just set up the IP address and other settings on the node. We'll reboot them and then deploy the website. Now, for the websites, uh, each node actually runs an Apache web server, a MySQL database server, so they're already running. There's no need to start them, but if you wanted to start or stop them, you can use the command system control command. Included in VertNet are some, uh, some demo websites. There's a very simple static web index, which has a few pages and style sheets. We'll not use that one today. We'll deploy a, a little bit more advanced website, which is I call the MyUni website, which provides a very basic grading system where students can log in and see their grades. And this website's useful for uh, testing web application attacks like SQL injection, cookie stealing, and others. The topology that we're deploying, this topology 7, we're going to use it like this, where node 1 is going to be our normal user, our, uh, using our web browser. Uh, node 4 is going to be our web server running the MyUni uh, grading system, and node 3 with a router. In some scenarios, we only need those three nodes, and we can illustrate different web application attacks. In other scenarios, we may need additional nodes. For example, we may have a second browser for the malicious user on node 2, and on node 5, the malicious user may have a, another web server under their control. Uh, the domains are listed here. So what we'll do on node 4 is deploy the MyUni, the real MyUni website, and for other attacks, on node 5, we'll deploy the fake MyUni website. As those nodes boot, we log in, network, network, and when we run the command sudo bash vertnet bin vn deploy node, we're using topology 7, node 1, we run that, network is the password, and now we reboot. And I'll do that for all nodes and then we'll come back and set up the websites on each. I've deployed the, the five nodes. Nodes one, two, three, four, uh, I've started again and running. And I'm gonna start node five. Uh, I'm gonna start it in headless start where there's uh, no VirtualBox terminal, but I'll use PuTTY to log into that node. So node four is running, node five is booting now. I've got PuTTY window opened here, logged into node 1. Let's log into node 4, create a new session, hostname 127.0.0.1, the local host, and the port for node 4 is 2204. And we can open that, and it opens a, a terminal into node 4. And we can log in. And that just allows me to uh, use PuTTY instead of the VirtualBox terminal and change some of the settings so I can make the appearance, for example, we'll change the font so it's larger and easier to see. So here's node 4. Now let's set up the web server. We said the 
real my uni web server is going to be on node 4 and the fake one on node 5 so we'll deploy the real one first and to deploy the my uni website uh, there's a script that will do it for us so on node 4 we run this command which uh, deploys my, uh, real my uni so let's go to node 4 and try that sudo bash uh, vert net bin vn deploy real my uni network is the password yes we want to proceed and a few warnings that we shouldn't set a password on the command line that's okay and the website is deployed now let's just test that so we'll go back to node 1 and we've got a website on node 4 and now we want to access that website so since we don't have a graphical user interface we'll use a text-based web browser called links and we use links followed by the URL and the system set up such that we've got some fake domain names and node 4 will use the domain name www.myuni.edu node 5 is set up such that it has two different domain names we'll see that in a moment so that should be already set up if not you can change the etc host file to set that up myuni.edu and actually the website is under the directory grades and that opens my web browser on node 1 which connects to the web server on node 4 the myuni web server and you can see it's a very basic uh, website it says welcome let's log in and with links we can scroll through the the links in the web page using up and down arrow keys the bottom links are just some help pages we want the login link and I'll press the right arrow to follow that link it takes me to a login page where it prompts for my username and password now we've set up some initial usernames and passwords for the system if we go to the website and scroll down there are a few usernames and passwords for different user IDs and student um, passwords so let's log in as our S1234567 student type in the username and the password and go to the login link and right arrow to log in and it says do you want to allow cookies I'll say A for always we can change a setting later that will automate that step it's going through some login steps and it takes me to the welcome page welcome S1234567 you're now logged in you've got two things you can do you can log out or you can view the grades so let's view the grades and the view grade system basically takes two parameters the student ID and a course code so I can view the grades of a particular course or unit and then a submit button so the idea is that the student can only view their grades they cannot use uh, view other students grades and of course they cannot change grades so let's leave the student ID as is the default value which is ours and a course ID COIT20262 submit and it says the grades for that student for that course is a HD we can go back to view grades if we don't provide a course code and go to submit it shows all of our grades for all the courses we're enrolled in so that's the normal system you can see through different attacks and see for example if a student can see other students grades well, let's try that as another student I'm logged in as s1234567 but there's another student can we see their grades maybe for this course I want to see another student's grades submit no it does some checking you can only view your own grades okay so there's the security mechanism or access control in place in the attacks one thing you'll try and do is try to view the grades of other students and maybe even try and edit grades I can log out and log in as a different user the user called Steve is the admin user or a faculty 
a user and the admin user or login has some more permissions so let's view the grades of another student so we'll view the grades of student s with all zeros and submit so steve can view the grades of other students and note that this link there's a link here on the student id and if steve follows that he can edit the grade he can set it to a different value so I can then choose, for example, to change the grade, which was originally an F, to a C. And I follow that link, and that's a great update. So only the admin user or the faculty user, Steve, is allowed to change grades and view student, other students' grades. So that's the basics of the MyUni website. Uh, to see some more details, the policy, uh, you can view on the website here. Uh, some other features like how to add new users or courses if needed. Um, the other thing we'll do is on node 5, which has started now, we'll connect to that using PuTTY, create a new session, and the address 127.0.0.1, and the port for node 5 is 2205. And open that yes we really trust it log in as network network but onto node 5 let's just change the appearance so it's a, a little bit larger you can set up your system so that these will be the defaults we're on node 5 and node 5 can be used in some attacks by the malicious user assuming it's a web server under the control of the malicious user so a fake website called freestuff.com and another one called myuni.edu.gr so to deploy that website it's quite simple we can run this uh, script on node 5 to deploy the the fake websites both of them in fact not just one sudo bash vertnet bin vn deploy fake my uni yes we proceed and that's deployed and i'll leave it for you as a task to try and use that fake website and you can use it in different attacks and some of the attacks are described uh, in some demos here including sql injection uh, cross site request, forgeries, cookie stealing and others.